Get the probable starters for game one of the ALDS brought to you by your local Ford store. Boston expected to start Chris Sale against the Yankees and Jay Happ expected to start. Could be a lot of talk about that. Could it be a game one and a game, game five guy. But bottom line, Jack, that's one of the reasons they went hard and got him. All right, when they made that acquisition from the Toronto Blue Jays, one of the narratives about that acquisition was the fact that he has pitched so well against the Red Sox this season and in his career. He faced them on Friday through five scoreless innings, then gave up that grand slam to Steve Pierce. You can't say, oh, he also added a grand slam. A grand slam is a grand slam. But for those far first five innings, he looked very sharp. I think he has a ton of confidence against the Red Sox and in Fenway Park. There are more question marks about Chris Sale right now than there are about Jay Happ. He's been that productive and that reliable. Yeah, I think the numbers bear it out, but the eye test also showed us on Friday, right? For those five innings, just dominated a lineup for the Red Sox that's been intimidating all year long. Did a good job against Martinez getting the ball in. Mookie Betts was raving about Jay Happ, so that tells you that he's kind of got their number a little bit. And the bottom line is you want him to pitch game one and game five. If if you need it, it's either Tanaka or Hap. My money is on Hap. All right, guys. Well, we know they're headed to Boston Friday night for game one. For more thoughts on that, let's get it back to Michael Kay and Ken Singleton. And now the fun begins. Now the Yankees will play the Boston Red Sox, and it's going to be an interesting matchup. They played 19 times this year in Boston by winning the last game of the season, won the season matchup by... Um, a, a tally of a 10 to 9, but these teams match up very well. They certainly do. Uh, if you look at the numbers over the years, you can see that uh, very tight games. I think what you saw in the last series in Boston, the last three games of the season, Yankees took the first two out of three to get themselves to 100 wins. A lot of players took care of uh, goals. The team took care of a goal of hitting uh, the record for home runs. I just think this is going to be a very exciting series, as it usually is. Very hard fought. Uh, you're going to face Chris Sale in that first game. We're going to we have to see what kind of Chris Sale we're going to see. There have been reports he has been, uh, his shoulder's been fatigued in the second half of the season. So that should be very interesting to see in game one. And I also think that in this upcoming series, the pressure now shifts to the Boston Red Sox. I think all the pressure on the Yankees today, they had to win this game. Uh, they could not have gotten eliminated in the wild card after going to the seventh game of the ALCS last year. So... The Red Sox now have to validate a 108-win season. And I remember Paul O'Neill's told me many, many times in 1998 postseason, yeah. it was almost joyless because if they didn't win the whole thing, the 114 didn't mean anything. I think the Red Sox are going to feel a little bit of that as well. Well, I think the Yankees had a lot to do with the Seattle Mariners prior to that. And winning 116 games, they couldn't pay it off because the Yankees knocked them out of the playoffs. So the situation for the Red Sox is, yeah, they had a big, big year. But now it starts all over again. It's ramped up, as I said before. You have to play pressure-filled ball games against your bitter rival in your home park. Maybe that's a bit of an advantage for the Red Sox to be at Fenway Park to get things started. But there there be enough Yankee fans on hand. I will tell you what. There's some keys in this. The Red Sox have a great lineup. They've got up and down power. They can also steal bases, which the A's were unable to do. That's something that the Yankees are going to have to control. But the health of Sale, how close he is to the real Sale, and also the bridge to the bullpen, those are the questions about the Boston Red Sox. And, and one other thing, too. How is David Price going to perform against the Yankees? He hasn't pitched well against the Yankees uh, in just about forever, ever since he's been in Boston. So maybe the Yankees, uh, you know, are in his head a little bit like years ago. What did Pedro say? The Yankees are my daddy. And Pedro's in the Hall of Fame. I will tell you this, of all the um, pitchers that the Red Sox have, all the guys that start, not one of those starters has ever won a game in the postseason as a starter. So the Yankees would like to keep that streak going, and it all starts on Friday, and it should be an unbelievable time at Fenway Park, Bob.